Why do you need this crazy formula to figure out the error? Can't you just subtract the predicted from the actual? Taking the difference between predicted and actual is mean error. Let's not be so negative. I understand that calculating error is necessary to help the model learn from its mistakes. Yes, but the problem with mean error is that positives and negatives can cancel each other out. Imagine the actual value is 10, but you predict 12, and then you predict 8. The errors are 2 and negative 2. If you sum those up, the errors would be 0. Instead, what you should do is use mean squared error. Okay, so you just mathified what I said earlier. Can't we just use this? Why don't you try it out? Here's a fraud example, which is an imbalanced data set since fraud is rare. Let me know what you find. Yikes, the model using MSE is way off. It can't tell the difference between non-fraud and fraudsters, like most people. Exactly. Log loss works better because it considers probabilities, not just the error. Consider these two different predictions between the predicted error versus the log loss error. Hmm. Ah. So it really penalizes that 164 example because it's really wrong. Why can't we just call this nice error? It's using a logarithmic function which has smooth mathematical properties that help guide the learning step by step and help it handle tricky problems. Smooth and nice. Perfect. Who would get crossed with that?